There aren't many men who can make a toilet corner on two wheels. Or transform an office unit into a speed demon. But then Ed China isn't most men. He's a rather unique engineering whiz kid. He specializes in motorized furniture. This is the casual loafer. Ed's currently working on a production model. So if you want a car of utter luxury with loads of cool things on it, then you have to come to us. And it'd be very, very expensive, very exclusive and loads of fun. Fun and fast. With a top speed of 87 miles per hour, the casual loafer holds the world record for the fastest piece of furniture. But for how much longer? Ed's confident his new 200 brake horsepower chaise lunge can break the record. He's already caught Guinness and booked the racetrack. All he needs to do now is tweak the engine. Today's the day. Well, that's the speed I calibrated. I reckon well, for a winner. The chaise lunge may be in top form, but there are two looming minefields. The gathering rain clouds and the fact that Ed won't be driving today. Ah, Ed. you must be Marek. Hello. Good to see you, sir. How you doing? All right. OK. You're a very, very brave man for well, opening on for this. Is this the beast? Oh, this my is, God. This yeah, is yeah. the beastie. You can see it's powered by a V8. Yes. So it's going to be quite Marek successfully drive. bid to um, drive the beast in a charity it's auction. It Ed seems very relaxed about the whole thing, but in reality... I'm not entirely keen on having somebody drive my pride and joy. I mean, I know I can do this and I know I can handle these conditions, but I don't really understand, you know, his, his experience, his, his level of kind of skill. So it's a little bit nerve wracking for me, I have to say. <laughs> Not to worry, Marek's been practicing. I've been training every day for two months. I I've been so sitting, sitting on my sofa at home, <laughs> watching, watching the TV. Yeah. TV so like that. <laughs> Ed laughs, and yet the last time someone else drove his sofa, the last time somebody drove one of my vehicles, this was after two days of training on the road, he actually ended up driving into a roundabout about 14 minutes after I'd said goodbye to him, be safe. So uh, it's a little worrying. Time for Marek to get behind the wheel. What you want to do is basically smooth off that corner. Yeah. Almost try and make it into a straight line, as it were. Okay. So you go around the corner and then uh, sort of go sort of slightly wide and then come back again. So far, so good. And have I got time for a cup of tea and a biscuit at any point? <laughs> until the rain steps up a notch and the situation starts to unravel. The wet conditions threaten not only the record attempt, but Marek's safety too. The rain is going to be very tricky. If, we, if it persists like it is, the steering is going to be a bit lighter and it means that the corners are going to be very dangerous. And so he puts in too much speed, our driver could have a bit of an incident. Our driver gamely gets another practice circuit under his belt, while the Guinness official sets up. We're using today the, the classic, much annoying police style radar gun to test the speed. As the vehicle approaches, you just hit the trigger and it gives you a reading in miles per hour. Uh, and we're also using a break the beam style laser uh, timer. So as the car or the sofa drives past, it breaks the laser beams and it gives us a reading as well. Marek poses for the press, and Ed drops by with some final advice. Again, just to recap, first, second and third up here, take it nice and easy, go around that corner, get onto the straight, go into fourth, and then nail it, and then win. <laughs> Good luck, mate. <laughs> we'll see you later. The moment of reckoning arrives. Right on cue, the rain belts down even harder. Marek lets rip as he whips past on his first attempt, but at 87 miles per hour, he's only equaled the current record. He's going to give it another try. This time, as Marek heads down the straight, the chaise lunge is at full speed. He's done it. Well, well done, that man. Oh, you have just well, broken man. the world's record for fastest furniture, 92 miles an hour. Oh, thank you very That's much. Awesome. Thank you very much. And he's proved with your here certificate. Here is the official Guinness World Record certificate to prove to everyone that you set the record today against all the odds. It's a bit wet, but congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well then, cheers. Well done. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably put it up on the mantelpiece and, uh, you know, when I'm having a beer sometimes at home, you know, just have a little wry smile to myself.
<laughs> and how's Ed feeling right oh, now? I'm feeling pretty weird actually because I've just lost my world record but we've just got a new one. So you know, all in all, it's a warm fuzzy feeling inside despite the cold wet rain. <laughs> and the cold wet rain continues to fall as the winner and loser take a final lap of glory resplendent in their upholstery.